The worst floods to hit the Pacific Northwest in man's memory swept across five states, caused a billion dollars worth of property damage, and made tens of thousands homeless. In Portland and other cities and towns in Oregon, Idaho, Washington, Nevada, and Northern California, it was the same. A sweeping panorama of destruction. The Columbia and Willamette Rivers, converging at Portland, threatened to flood the entire downtown area before slowly dropping away from the sandbag seawall. Heavy snows, followed by swiftly rising temperatures, sent torrents down from the mountains. Then rain followed. The swollen rivers could not contain the great flood. The Columbia, the Truckee, the Eel, the Russian, the Feather, every one of the storied rivers spilled out over the countryside. The flood moved down into Northern California, where scores of communities were devastated. In four townships alone, it is estimated that 14,000 people were homeless. With many highways completely out, it was days before hundreds upon hundreds of people could be rescued. Many had gone without food and dry clothing until brought to emergency shelters. Again, there were tales of heroic rescues, of volunteers risking their lives to save strangers, stories of meager food supplies willingly donated to the ill and the young. Coming at the height of the holiday season, the floods brought an uncounted economic loss to business establishments. But tens of thousands felt that their best Christmas present was just being warm and fed and still alive. It will be many weeks before the full impact of the disaster can be assayed. There is little left to salvage in this food store, for example. But Americans can always find the saving grace of humor in adversity. We don't know what he's going to do with that surfboard, but one thing is sure, he seems to be a man with connections. The Russian River has receded after creating a lake seven miles wide and sending its waters to new high water marks. Some small communities will never recover from the flood, but others turn to rebuilding before the water subsided. When a bunch of the boys took time out for a quick refresher at the local pub, they bounced the first man who asked for water as a chaser. Of course, the favorite cocktail was a very dry martini. Would you call this swimming pool? An indomitable spirit is the secret ingredient that will help the Pacific Northwest rebuild on the ruins of disaster. In catastrophe, courage. In the future, optimism.